Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared is equal to b plus 241. Let's call this equation 1. And b squared is equal to a plus 241. Let's call this equation 2. Such that a is not equal to b, and a is not equal to 0, and b is not equal to 0. So, what is the value of a and what is the value of b? So let's prevent the solution from here. The first step from here is to subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So we have equation 1, which is a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b plus 241 subtract a plus 241 so that now here we have a squared minus b squared this is equal to now we have b plus 241 minus a minus 241 241 and 241 simplifies so that now a squared minus b squared now we have a squared minus b squared. This is equal to b minus a. So let's take b minus a on the left hand side. So that here we have a squared minus b squared plus a minus b. This is equal to 0. Now a squared minus b squared. This is in the form of x squared minus y squared, which we can express as x plus y, x minus y so applying this identity then we have here a plus b a minus b then plus a minus b this is equal to zero now the next step from here a minus b is common here so we can factor out a minus b so that now into the parentheses we have a plus b plus one cross the parentheses this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is a minus b. This is equal to 0. And the second part here, we have a plus b plus 1. This is equal to 0. So from the first part here, we have that a is equal to b. So this part violates the condition here because we have seen that a is not equal to b. A is not equal to B. So you find that this part is rejected. So this part is rejected. So if you check the second part here, we have that A plus B plus 1. This is equal to 0. So this implies that A plus B, this is equal to minus 1. Let's call this equation 3. So the next step from here, Let's move to step 2. In step 2 here, let's add equation 1 with equation 2. Let's add equation 1 with equation 2. So this implies that here we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to b plus 241 plus a plus 241. Now we have a squared plus b squared. This is equal to, now, now a squared plus b squared. This is equal to a plus b plus 241 plus 241. This is 482. So this implies that a squared plus b squared. This is equal to a plus b is what we have in equation 3. Equation 3, a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute here with minus 1 plus 482. And this implies that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to minus 1 plus 482. This is equal to 481. Let's call this equation 4. Now, let's move to step 3. From here, 
instead 3, we have that equation 3. Equation 3 is A plus B. This is equal to minus 1. From this equation, let's square both sides. This is equal to minus 1 squared. So that now, this is the same thing as A squared plus B squared plus 2AB. This is equal to minus 1 squared, which is equal to 1. Now, we have that A squared plus B squared. This is what we have in equation 4, which is 481. Substituting this, we have 481 plus 2AB. This is equal to 1. So let's take 481 on the right hand side. So that now we have 2AB. This is equal to 1 minus 481. So we have 2AB. This is equal to minus 480. So let's divide both signs by 2 from here. So that now A times B. This is equal to minus 240. From this equation here, let's make A to be the subject of a formula. Let's divide both signs by B. So that now A is equal to minus 240 over B. Substituting this into equation 3. Remember equation 3 is A plus B. This is equal to minus 1. Let's substitute A with minus 240 over B plus B. This is equal to minus 1. Now we have minus 240 over B plus B. B is a whole number, so this is over 1. Minus 1 is a whole number, so this is over 1. Let's multiply both signs by B so that now here B and B here simplifies so that we have minus 240 plus B times B. This is B squared. This is equal to minus 1 times B. This is minus B. The next step is to take minus B on the left hand side so that now here we have B squared plus B minus 240. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 240. We can solve this quadratic equation by factorization method, whereby the product here is equal to minus 240 and the sum is equal to 1. So let's identify these two factors. These factors, these factors are 16 and minus 15. So that now, if we have 16 b minus 15 b this is the same thing as b this is what we have here so let's substitute this so we have b squared plus 16 b subtract 15 b then minus 240 this is equal to zero so b squared plus we have this particular part here b is common so let's factor out b so that now here we have b plus 16 minus now from this particular part here 15 is common so we can factor out 15 so that now here we have b plus 16 this is equal to zero so since b plus 16 is common here we can factor out b plus 16 and here we have b minus 15. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have that b plus 16. This is equal to 0. And here we have b minus 15. This is equal to 0. 
Now, from this part here, we have that B1 is equal to minus 16. And here we have that B2 is equal to 15. The next step is to solve for the corresponding values of A. If you recall, if you recall from here, we have that A is equal to minus 240 over B. So let's solve for A1. A1 is equal to minus 240 divided by B1, which is minus 16. So minus and minus simplifies so that now 240 divided by 16 from here, this is the same thing as 15. So we have the first set of solution here. That is A1, comma B1, A1, B1, which is equal to 15, comma, minus 16. So this is the first set of solution that we have. So let's solve for the second value of A, that is A2. A2 is equal to minus 240 over B2. Now from here we have A2 is equal to minus 240 over B2. And this is equal to A2 is equal to minus 240 over 15. So minus 240 over 15, this is equal to minus 16. So the second set of solution here is A2 comma B2, which is equal to negative 16 and B2 is 15. So this is the second set of solution that we have. So let's verify, let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfies the equation. Let's start with A1, B1. This is equal to 15, comma, minus 16. Now, if you recall, we have our equations as A squared. This is equal to B plus 241. And we have that b squared, this is equal to a plus 241. This is equation 1, and this is equation 2. So, a squared, this is the same thing as 15 raised to the power of 2. This should be equal to b, which is equal to minus 16, plus 241. So 15 squared, this is 225. This is equal to minus 16 plus 241. So here we have 225. This is equal to minus 16 plus 241. This is the same thing as 225. So that now the left add side is equal to the right add side. This implies that A1, B1 satisfies the equation. Now, let's take A2 and B2, which is minus 16 and 15. So we have from equation 2, which is B squared, this is equal to A plus 241. B squared, in this case, we have minus 6, that is, we have B, in this case, B2 is 15. So we have 15 squared. This is equal to A. Remember A is minus 16 plus 241. So 15 squared, this is equal to 225. And this should be equal to minus 16 plus 241. This is also 225. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that a1 b1 satisfies the equation a2 b2 also satisfies the equation so kindly of follow the steps like this video if you have alternative methods to this problem kindly showcase in the comment section see you in the next video Bye-bye.